First at five, a local family is grieving tonight after a father and son were found dead in their home. It was breaking news on Eyewitness News at noon, and we're told a cushion at home was filled with carbon monoxide. Tonight, we're hearing from the victim's family. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is live in a cushion it tonight with the latest developments. Yeah, Shannon, Mike, police and firefighters have been here on the scene all day long trying to get to the bottom of this apparent carbon monoxide leak. Now, as you can see, the windows and the door of the house are open and all the carbon monoxide is gone, according to the fire chief, but they found an unknown white powdery substance in the house. It appears to be harmless, but some firefighters were, are wearing hazmat suits as a precaution before they go into the house. A well-being check led police to a house on Buttonwood Lane in a Cushnet Wednesday morning. Inside, police found the bodies of 41-year-old Joseph Lopes and his 9-year-old son, Colin. This is a tragedy, uh, and a Cushnet has suffered in the last uh, couple of months significant tragedies. The district attorney's office says the two likely died from carbon monoxide poisoning, and they don't suspect foul play. From what I was told, they... Uh it was leaking, and there was very high levels of carbon monoxide in the home. Something to do with a pipe. I'm not specifics on what, if it was broken or if it was what it was doing. Family members believe it was an accident. Police became involved when Colin's mom called, worried because she hadn't heard from her son or her son's father, her ex-husband, Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. Police found Colin wasn't at school and decided to go in the house. That's when they discovered the bodies. Jason Lopes is Joseph Lopes' brother. I'm a plumber by trade, and my brother's a tradesman, so I am shocked um, that this would happen to him. I still got to break it to my 10-year-old, which was best friends with uh, Colin. It's going to be a tough situation. Yes, definitely a tough situation for everyone involved. Now, uh, firefighters say that one dog also died from carbon monoxide poisoning and another dog is very sick. Coming up new at 6 o'clock, how the victim's family members want them to be remembered. Live in a cushionet with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Madeline. Carbon monoxide is often called the silent killer since it's odorless and colorless. Some of the symptoms to watch out for include headaches, dizziness, nausea, chest pain, and confusion. You can find more about the dangers of carbon monoxide and how to protect your family from it on our website, WPRI.com. Tracking developing news on a story we first reported at noon, a father and son die of apparent carbon monoxide poisoning. And now as investigators look into the deaths, their family tells us how the two victims should be remembered. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is live in a cushion it with more on this developing story. Madeline. Shannon, Mike, the victim's friends and family, as you can imagine, are devastated. They've been gathering here at the scene all day long, as have investigators, trying to make sense of what happened. Family and friends remember 41-year-old Joe Lopes as a loving father to his 9-year-old son, Colin. Joe was this all-around all guy, just coached sports, went to work, coached baseball, basketball, soccer, and he didn't care as long as, the, you know, he was involved with the kids. Uh, my son, Dante, bowls with, uh, with Colin, a uh, bold past tense. Um, and uh, he was a great kid, always very outgoing. Uh, I can't believe that this happened. The father and son were found dead in an upstairs bedroom at their home on Buttonwood Lane in a cushion it Wednesday morning. Police say it appears they died in their sleep, apparently from carbon monoxide poisoning. Anytime something is burning, carbon monoxide is being emitted. Uh, when it accumulates, uh, the the symptoms can be as simple as a uh, as a headache, uh, and it can be as tragic as uh, what we think has occurred today. While investigators try to get to the bottom of why this happened, family and friends turn to each other for comfort and reflect on happier times. Colin, he's a, oh my God, an unbelievable child. Just one of those hot woman kids that would be always remembered. Just a sad situation. Now, new since 5 o'clock, we've learned that that white powdery substance that I told you about an hour ago is just a pest control chemical. But the fire chief says that firefighters still need their hazmat suits when going into the house to protect against the potential of bed bugs. Live in a cushion with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.